Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm back, and uh, this video is in response to a comment that I got from someone named Jason Fields about two months ago. It's been a while, I've been meaning to get to this. But he asked if you could replace these two 7 dBi flat panel antennas with two 10 dBi antennas, effectively giving the ArgTech mod three 10 dBi antennas. I went ahead and bought two omnidirectional ones, and we're going to go give it a shot, and it looks like this. But first, before we do that, I want to just say thank you, you guys. I know I didn't put out many videos uh, in November, only two videos that month, but you guys continue to keep subscribing. I've gotten 214 subscribers in the last 28 days, according to my last check. Um, I currently have 895 subscribers, which puts me at almost 900, whereas my goal for this year was 1,000. I remember on the video I made, I just looked, where I was six months into YouTube, I only had 130 subscribers, which means we've been growing, and that's what I want to do. My goal is a thousand. Let's get me there by the end of the year. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See here, right down there. And uh, to thank you guys for all that support, where you re-inspired me to start making videos again and get back into this, even though I've been super busy at work. I'm going to be giving away this Skyreet um, antenna booster for the Phantom 3 standard. So if you're here, you probably have a Phantom 3 standard. And while this isn't as good as the Arg Tech as shown in my other videos, it's still very good. And um, I'm going to be giving this away. It's going to be a separate video, link in the description, on how you can enter that contest. So there's that. With all that said, let's go ahead and check out this abomination I made over here and get into the video. Okay, how's it going guys? So this is my Phantom 3 standard as you guys have seen me do all kinds of tests with this. Um, this is the Arctech mod. I have a video, it's a pretty popular one, where uh, this gives it a lot more range. I had a question on one of my comments. It asked me what would happen if I replaced these two flat panels with two of these 10 dBi antennas. I don't know, because these are 7 dBi flat panels. Um, I couldn't it wasn't economically feasible for me to replace it with these ones because these are expensive. But I did find two tall 10 dBi Wi-Fi antennas. So I'm going to replace these with, and we're going to do a distance test, flight test, and, and see if I can see any differences. So let's go ahead, take these ones off. And we'll put these on. The first thing I'm going to do is connect to the Wi-Fi as normal. I'm going to get this thing calibrated, then I'm going to hook the iPad uh, to my computer that's going to be in my backpack and that's how I record these images. antennas on. I'm going to go ahead and hit record and take off. Okay guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air. Um, I like to put it up to about 200 feet right when I'm starting off. I'll go ahead and bring up some of that telemetry data here so you guys can see. I overshot it a little bit, but we're bringing her back down. 206, that'll work. Now, this is one of the only times that I actually got to fly during the fall. And um, 
it's beautiful. I wish I would have done it more. Our fall was really short this year in November. It was basically just the month of November. October, the leaves were still green, it seemed like. So let's see how just how far these antennas will get us. So right to the end of that field there's about 2,000 feet. You can kind of see down there in the corner. I'll bring it up bigger when we get further up. Look at those leaves. Little tractor down there. So we're out to about 4,000 feet. You can see there it's starting to blink red. And we're going to go ahead and bring it back up. And what happens is uh, the altitude of 206 feet, that's about the limit for distance. So what I'm going to end up doing is canceling this return to home. I'm going to put it up higher in the air. Um, I think I bring it up to about 320 feet, maybe 350. So yeah, we're at 322 feet and I'm just going to continue backwards for a while as far as I can go. And let's see how far out we get. Seems to be working okay. There's a little bit of lag here on the video feed compared to the onboard camera. But it's still usable. So 6,700, that's pretty close. That's further than we got with the original Arctic, so we're already past. We're starting to get red here, and I'm going to go ahead and see how far I can push it. And right about here, that's 7,453 feet was our maximum distance, and now I'm just going to go ahead and let it return to home. So let's pull this telemetry down, and we can enjoy the view for a while. I'll go ahead and speed this up. Let's go. Okay, so that was pretty interesting. Um, we got out to 7,453 feet, which uh, if you take a look here at this older picture, it's a screenshot of my original ArgTech video, which is exploding in popularity. It's actually number one on YouTube for ArgTech now, which is awesome. Thanks to all of you guys that watched. Thank you so much. Um, but if you look, you can see that the best that I got with the flat antenna or the 10 DBI antenna was less than 7,000 feet. The furthest I got with any setup was all three flat panels, and that was 6,731 feet, or 149% of the original stock antenna's 4,520 feet. 
So what that means is that this setup with these two big tall omnidirectional antennas gets you 160% over stock. Um, it gets you almost 3000 feet further than stock and it gets you 722 feet further than the furthest I could get with the unmodified ArgTech setup. So remember, this isn't a scientific study. I don't control for all the variables. Obviously I did that test in the summer and it was fall when I did this one. So humidity levels, everything could affect it. But just from my experience of flying with these antennas a few times, it's, it's better, okay? I mean, it's kind of annoying to have them up in your face and everything but it's just a better setup because not only do you get more range in general over the Arctech but they're not as finicky you can fly a radius around you because they're not single directional they're omnidirectional so they receive down that video signal or whatever from any direction just as well as any other direction so I think they're totally worth it I paid eleven dollars for them on Amazon I'm going to leave a link in the description if you guys buy them through that link. Even if you don't buy those particular ones, just click through my link. It really helps support my channel. And again, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I want to give a quick shout out to my cousin Brandon. He uh, did all the camera work, or uh, at least he was the one holding the camera while I was doing everything in this video. He has a YouTube channel that he's trying to get off the ground called Brando PC. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Go give them some love. If you guys like uh, PC builds, uh, PC gaming, things like that, I'm more of a Mac guy myself. But if you guys like that kind of stuff, go check them out. So thanks again. Um, expect more Arctech videos. Don't forget I'm giving away the Skyreet antenna booster. Link in the description as well. And that's going to be a video that comes out very shortly. Probably the same day as this one. And you'll be able to enter to win that. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm back. I'm doing this. Let's reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. And let's reach 10,000 before the end of next year. All right, guys. I'll see y'all.